Well, hello and welcome once again. Episode number 114 of our Abdicom campaign. Right off into the action with a supply convoy that's headed back to Darwin. They were intercepted by uh, these torpedo planes here. Um, there's a couple of our ships that are pretty heavily damaged. Uh, so we're going to have to try and get them out of harm's way. I really can't afford to lose transports now. I need those for uh, the engineering and fuel. We don't have any tankers, so that that's a bonus on this. But our uh, supply convoy is now on deck. Gonna have to do some maneuver in here to uh, get everybody into position. spun around so they can come in kind of uh, behind everybody. It looks like they're already dropping their fish back here. Right going like this. Coming in dead astern. Uh, we do have land-based bombers. I may have to bring Warspite and Houston down to um, bombard one of the uh, air bases that are in the eastern part of the theater. I can get everybody up to speed here. Doesn't look like they're uh, making any moves on this side of the uh, convoy. See if we can put some of them down before they come in on us. Like we've got, like this group is the uh, most in danger. We have a pretty heavily armed transport convoy, so it might work in our favor. There's a lot of torpedo planes coming in right now. And they are dropping on her. They missed here. Let's get you turned around. Making their second run on uh, the Akora. May take one in the stern if we can't turn fast enough here. Yeah, we're going to take it right on stern. Turn back. Oh, it was a dud. Thank God for small miracles. Just missed the Stanton. Okay, so nobody uh, suffered any damage in that attack. May have to pull my patrol planes back and have them start escorting. Uh, Escorting our surface convoys, but I would say that was a bit of luck and uh, Of course his helmsman is gonna get a nice little pat on the back for that one Good job
Now we got another flat top fleet here. We've got uh, escort carrier, a fleet carrier. The uh, seaplane tender, the mini sub, uh, and the transport. They are coming down from their western base. Uh, you have the hear you and the Zui Ho. We've got the salmon in position. Uh, salmon. Take her attack run. On them. Uh, looking for torpedoes. You go with a three degree spread. Primary targets here you. Biho is the secondary target. Might actually try the uh, bow shot, stern shot thing, but I haven't really decided that yet. Um, Salmon's done pretty good so far in the uh, in the campaign. I think she's taken out a couple of uh, pretty major ships, so we're going to get Salmon into position. Uh, we're going to hopefully launch a successful double-ended strike on this task force. Scope is up. 84% solution. Fire. First four fish going away. Got planes inbound. We can do about this EHO too. I'm gonna drop it down to 2%. Them we'll go with the stern tubes. Five percent. They haven't started maneuvering yet, so. All right, fire. Sixty-six percent. We're gonna have to take the chance with that. We're gonna drop our scope. I don't know about sixty meters. Continue to turn. Like they're circling back on us. Yep, they saw us. And they're turning accordingly. I don't think we're going to get any hits on this one. That's going to suck. Can't even see my torpedoes. Did launch on me. There's the torpedoes there. Some of them, and you're gonna miss. Definitely gonna miss her. Way out there. Not even gonna get a lucky one in. Unless we hit this transport out here. Plane came over right as I was, uh, Pop my scope up. <laughs> that was a wasted attack. Well, you win some, you lose some, I guess. <laughs> they get a stern shot off. Closer we with, uh... Well, what's this out here? Yeah. Is that the enemy's torpedoes? 
They had danger of hitting themselves with their own torpedoes. That would be nice. They accidentally torpedo themselves. Looks like we may find out here in a second. One hit on her. Just missed here. Oh. Back. On turn back. Got more coming in this way. You know I'm here. Dropping their torpedoes. Unfortunately for me, all their torpedoes are going at their own ships. There you go. <laughs> There's more torpedoes for you to dodge, Japanese. See what happens. Looks like we're going to miss with all these. Bombers coming in now. Well, nope. More torpedo planes. More torpedoes coming in on them. Right, there they go. See what the damages are. Uh, minor and minor. Twenty-four seconds until we can reload. Well, these guys are rising up and coming from the other direction. And drop though. Yes, they did here. Right. Come some more. Apparently taking off as we fight. That's kind of entertaining. We're near where they're, they should be. Also got this merchant. The rest of those torpedoes missed. They're probably going to miss two. Who are we targeting right now? Miho, 125 knots. What's the Rio doing? 30 knots. We're doing 25. Got one. We can launch one at her. Forty-five percent. I don't know if I really want to waste it. No, the torpedo could out outrun her. But I don't know if I really want to waste the uh, torpedo here. They definitely put up some uh, planes going to take us out. A lot of planes looking to take us out. Drop your torpedoes on their last known position. It's about a mile back that way.
don't think I can launch from way down here. Oh, I guess I can. Whoops. <laughs> well, I guess I'm launching another torpedo at this seaplane tender here. See what happens. Now we did miss with that one torpedo shot. I'm not really surprised that it missed, to be honest with you, but they were there, so I thought I'd take the shot and see what happened. And uh, now we go back to the strategic map here. All right, so the carrier was up here, this area. Here's Salmon, uh, Sirkouf, A8, Porpoise. I'm gonna bring Porpoise down a little bit, see if we can't put him off down here. Uh, and they all have guns. Sori is heading back. She's uh, got nine fish. She's also got Jimmy. Uh, they're going to redirect right here for the time being. They've still got, like I said, nine. Uh, I've sent War Spy up kind of on a similar patrol pattern. That air attack that we started the episode with happened down here. Uh, I do have escort for these guys right now, although it doesn't look like they're, uh, they're actually in the air, it's just scouts. But uh, air operations are currently done for the day, so uh, we'll see just where we have to, uh, happen to come across this carrier group that spooked them back into their uh, port, then good. If not, then we'll have to figure something else out them. Uh, we're going to patrol right here with you. Um, I was advised, not bad advice either, to uh, bring the Java Defense Force in with Destroyer 1 and the um, Perth. May do that at some point. Uh... I do want to have these guys down here. I'm also going to uh, bring out the more uh, MTBs and I get some points. Uh, put them up in this area. So that's what we're doing uh, as of 5 o'clock in the morning on day 195. Air operations are now available. Let's see what we can come up with for our 16th of August. All right, there we go. Dutch Strike Force. We have six of our Dutch TM, these guys. Pretty sure they're Dutch. But they're going to come up into here. Here. Pretty quick. Okay, they didn't like my... Yeah, I did. All right. <clears throat> Supply 2 is a full 10-ship convoy with uh, probably about 100, 100, 300 fuel. So they're on their way up. Uh, we grabbed all the supplies. We grabbed some troops. We're going to bring them up to Singapore, drop them off. Uh, we've got this transport convoy coming back. And... Heading up with fuel and supplies. Uh, this one's heading down. They can pick up some fuel. Well, I think. And they are heading back as well. Go to these guys. Got the Cimarron. You can grab some fuel. I'm patrolling down here, trying to keep an eye out for whatever is launching planes. Uh, the f situation up here is unchanged. Um, supplies and engineering and fuel. There we go. Skip Jack. Convoy. What we can do here. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And they are... There.
There's three of them. All right. Let's get the uh, skipjack moving at flank speed. Have her drop down to about 100 meters. Start her turning back around. Get into position here. Probably get this guy. I trusted these torpedoes to actually not be duds. I would target more than one of these, but I don't trust them, so. Oh, hell. You. Guess we could try another double ender, but the two degree spread. And I just want to hit them and hit them and go. They've got a lot to get through before they get to uh, anywhere they could do any damage. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. Put all our eggs in one basket and see how many duds we get. Alright, did change my mind. Uh, we are going to go for kind of a long range shot on this first ship. And then uh, swing around, try and hit the Aratama with our second shot. Uh, widened it out to three degrees. Let's fire. 82% solution at 100 feet. Narrow the spread down to one for this one. I'd actually be able to get into a decent position too if we don't lose sight of her. All right, stern tube, 72%. Fire. Anything these are going to hit first, or they might all completely miss, you never know. They haven't started maneuvering yet, so. See what happens. In the meantime. Turning in. Want to see what's happening here. May actually hit this guy. Or not. No, we're not gonna hit. I don't think we're gonna hit Terrakini Maru either. Maybe. Any of these guys armed? Terrakini Maru is. No, they're not. Draw this guy. Or one of these bastards was armed. But they're not. Please don't hit the wrong ship. <laughs> time it right, they'll all get there at the same time. Alright, let's have you, uh... Come up to... See? Pretty close. That was just the stern shot. The spray and pray shot, I guess you could call it. I don't think any of them are going to hit. Maybe. These aren't looking good. Yeah, 
Yeah, these missed. These are gonna miss too. Jesus Christ. Here's the skipjack. Here's the one transport we missed. And she sees us. Got a 85% solution on Terrakini Maru. Go run in straight. Go ahead and shoot. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, for deck gun ammo. 120 high explosive. Ah. You bombed it, the last one. Where's their deck gun on the front or the back? Back. And fire at her point blank range not gonna do much for my torpedoes but now that everybody in the world knows I'm here <clears throat> I don't really care to be honest with you I do care about accidentally ramming the uh, convoy with the skipjack Have to be kind of mindful of that. No one's got any guns though, so what are they gonna do? Yes. He's running away. Got one in the stern tube. Fire at her. Waste another torpedo, right? There you go. There's another torpedo for you. Heavy and minor. Gun's definitely doing some damage here. Burning pretty good. We shooting at her high explosive. Gotta be no armor piercing. Almost out of them too. Wrapping their pants. What are these crazy Americans doing? Now, if you guys pick a Japanese campaign for your next campaign here on War in the Sea, we will not be doing any type of story or narrative that requires me to attempt a Oriental accent because it would sound like I was mocking all Asians. I am definitely not. I just suck at accents. So, there's that. Torpedo doing. I bet it wasn't a homing torpedo. Oh, hey. Nice. Heavy and minor, though.
Yeah, eventually, we might want to target. We can go back for her. We're gonna run uh, Skipjack right out of uh, right out of deck gun ammo. to this guy. Oh. In the 10 knots, we could easily go back for it. some speed here. Because so I'll use your last two armor piercing shells. Get lucky on her. Being moderate. Hey, check it out. Magazine explosion. After we stopped shooting at her, she suffered a magazine explosion. Critical and critical. Oh. We should start taking some shots on you. Catching up with her, she's gonna rear end to this one right here. I launched a uh, manual right here. Two. There's one sink. Yeah, for uh, high explosive, 115. I get lucky here. That torpedo go out. Whoop. Whoop. And dead. Trying to get away. It's just not working very good for him. This one's gonna miss. We put the second one down here a little bit. That. See what happens. I know I'm wasting torpedoes, but at this point, just gotta have some fun here with it. Blast away with the deck gun. Maybe get a lucky manual shot off with my torpedoes.
Maybe sink the whole convoy. Except for this guy who's getting away. He'll get away. <laughs> Fine. No problem. As long as he doesn't turn into me and try and try and ram me here. That would be embarrassing. Oh my. Are we gonna get lucky? Are we gonna hit him? Oh, we did. No kidding. Nice. <laughs> Really wasn't expecting that. On the six, well, I can't tell. Doesn't look like she's moving very fast. <clears throat> I don't think she's moving at all. Too close. Oh, really? Game. damage on this guy. Heavy, 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 heavy. Burn. You don't accidentally run into this guy. I actually put this whole convoy down. They just surface in the first place. Be going twenty knots. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, boy. I really want to finish this campaign. Getting close to sinking. Well, heavy and heavy. I believe she's still doing six knots. I wonder how far away we have to be to, uh, our stern to add her manually and she's almost underwater as it is or not worry about it I guess I ain't won't hold your fire There we go. Alright, pick the speed back up. Target. We're not. Head and fire. Circle like a vulture. that. We have to get some distance and put a torpedo into her. These uh, passenger-like ships seem to be made of sturdier stuff than the uh, just regular transports. Gonna beaten. Need another magazine. Oh.
I'm turning the skipjack away. Keep shooting at her as we go. Bunch of stern at her. Out front two. Oh no, we got one. Skipjack's gonna have to go back. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some distance in between us. We can, uh, do the tube. That's cool. Firing right down our wake. Head out. Hopefully it doesn't decide to start gyrating off course because it's pretty good. Oh, there it goes. Let's we'll spin now. Miss. Maybe not. Is. Boom. One critical. I trust it, though. one more for you and just to be sure in case uh, it's a dud we'll go back and finish her off with the deck on you sunk right before the torpedo hit which is a good thing because the uh, torpedo was a dud so wouldn't have done us any good anyway the other guy is a thousand yards out. So if Jack is going to call this one. Job well done. Three out of four. One command point. Twenty seven thousand three hundred and fifty four tons, mostly with the deck gun. All right, Skipjack, go back, rearm. Uh, sorry, now you can go back and rearm too. And we're continuing on. All right, Task Force 41 and the wee hours of the morning is now up in Singapore. Everything got more than enough engineering to get us all the way. Fuel, that's the problem. I really need, uh, need some transports, merchant boilers. Right. Uh, yep, everybody. Go along about your business. Should be able to bump it up another level. Three. There we go. Uh, so for a level four, we are looking at 3,000 supplies, which we um, will get it. 300 engineering and 300 fuel. We'll be able to get that level four up running uh, by the next convoy. So it's going to be work for the future episode. Um, some of these engagements may get kind of repetitive. For you as well as for me. Uh, lucky for you, I can cut them out and you don't have to watch them. Unfortunately, I have to play them, which is time consuming. So uh, we're still working on uh, basically, it's just running interference while we build that airfield up. Anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comments. Uh, if you have any 
willingness to follow along through our Avdicom campaign. It's almost over, but there's more to come on the channel for War on the Sea. Hit the subscribe and come along with us, and uh, we'll pick it up in the next episode where uh, we will do something for the Deroiter, I promise. A76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.